Right, so we are in a Kokoda. I think it's a 2018 Kokoda couples van, as you can see. Um, this couple are approaching retirement and they are getting themselves set up and ready for full-time travel. Um, so they just wanted something in their van that they could run the air conditioner, run coffee machine, um, they're a massive fan of um, electrical appliances in terms of cooking, so they've got um, a relatively old induction cooker, which was kind of one of the first portable induction cookers. I think it's like an EcoFlow or something like that it's called, um, which they are super happy with. They bought nearly 10 years ago, um, and they're looking to upgrade that to, a, um, to the new one, which has got more capacity output. So... They're very comfortable with electrical cooking. Um, so they wanted a system that could run that. So um, this van, when they bought it, had an inner drive 240 volt charger already in it, which had obviously been replaced, had replaced another charger that had failed. It had two AGMs down on the battery, on the chassis, um, and a couple of small solar panels on the roof. So what we've done is we've um, given them a substantial system, so 1,200 watts of solar on the roof, and that's made up of um, some low voltage panels and some small high voltage panels. Um, and the configuration on the roof is actually really good from the perspective of um, the small high voltage panels actually being on the front slope of the van, pointing directly, well, at a better angle um, towards the sun, so they're getting um, massive benefit from that in terms of um, output from those panels, which is awesome. Um, 2600 watt inverter, couple of solar regulators, um, a 620 amp hour battery. So um, we've, we've managed to mount everything into the two seat boxes. Um, so we've got our um, battery monitoring and isolator over this side uh, and we've got our chargers and inverter over this side which is separated out it's obviously um, very uh, uh, the space has been very very utilized underneath there so um, yeah it's quite quite tight underneath there there's no room for any expansion in either of those two locations so we've put a full Cymarine monitoring package in as well um, all of the usual bits and pieces that we would normally do so giving you the ability to monitor your solar your portables um, your inverter but with this van we've added in tank monitoring as well and we've also added in van levels so we've got um, our tanks as you can see, we've got a temperature for our ambient temp and we've got our van level, so our inclinometer. Um, so that allows you to um, set your van up and see how level or not level you are. Um, as you can see, we're pretty unlevel here <laughs> on, this, on this location. So um, we've also got... Um, our usual monitoring screen which is giving solar information and and all the bits and pieces now as you can see there also we've got a gusto um, so we've installed a gusto dust reduction system um, that's gone over here into this overhead cupboard okay so you close that so you can't access it that's right yep so that's that's completely closed off the air exhausts out underneath the cupboard there and the filters on the wall on the outside of the van just behind here so um, very accessible on the outside of the van which is great from servicing perspective and also with the roof layout um, it's allowed us to maximize the roof space for solar panels so um, if we had other types of dust reduction systems up there they would have taken up roof space so that would have reduced the amount of solar panels we could fit um, We've also added in a couple of Sirocco's, a couple of extra Sirocco's for them. And because of the age of the van, it didn't really have USB charging points anywhere. So we've added a couple of USB charging points for them as well. Um, now, as I said before, they are actually going to be doing a lot of cooking um, electrically. So they want to swap out their 
microwave for a smart oven. Um, you probably would have heard us talking about the Breville smart ovens before. We're super happy with them. Uh, it's a great appliance. Uh, it does pretty much everything cooking wise, slow roasting, air frying, the whole works. Um, that's going to go up in that um, microwave space because they don't actually use a microwave. So rather than using it as a bread storage area, they're actually going to utilize that space. Uh, and the last thing, because this is an Ivis 3 old clunker air conditioner, um, we actually installed a soft starter into that so that um, we can start the air conditioner from the inverter and look after the health of the inverter. So as you can see, quite a lot done in this van. Um, it's really nicely set up now for the owner, the owners to pick it up, take it away and go traveling. So um, any questions for us guys, don't hesitate, hit us up. Always happy to answer them. See you next time.